What is up, beautiful people? Thank you for joining me on this uh, new moon eclipse in Sagittarius. Um, today I'm sick. I caught the big C19. <laughs> I'm fine. I have like mild um, symptoms, but um, yeah. So I maybe I'm a little bit low energy, but I really wanted to upload this for everyone because it's really helpful. So um, thank you for joining me. This is also my job. <laughs> so um, of course, this is pay what you can and the link for that will be below, but let's just jump into it. Um, where are my notes? Here we go. Okay, so Sagittarius. Whew. We are now in the season of Sagittarius, which is beautiful. Uh, happy birthday to all of my Sagittarius babies. Um, Sagittarius in modern day astrology is connected to the ninth house that focuses on uh, world travel, publishing, expansion. Um, just Sagittarius itself focuses on higher knowledge and learning, religion, new beliefs, new um, programs in the mind and collective awareness. Um, so this is an amazing opportunity for all of us to drop all of those old toxic behaviors and patterns, addiction cycles, because we just finished Scorpio season. <sighs> Thank God. <laughs> that was a fucking roller coaster. Um, but now we are in Sagittarius season, which is amazing for rewriting those mental programs and also an eclipse season. So an eclipse is when, um, well, you know what an eclipse is, the sun and the moon come together. But when we have a full moon eclipse, like two weeks ago, and now we have a new moon eclipse, that sort of middle two weeks, that time period, and then for some time after, of course, um, is a huge opportunity to establish yourself in new ways because old timelines are closing, old um, energetic loops are closing. Karma is being paid off. Um, a higher learning is happening. Our new perspectives we are being connected to, our higher self is trying to tell us a better way forward. So listen, and be really careful that you don't go backwards into your old self uh, sabotaging behaviors or old triggers and programs and um, fear-based addictions or cycles or whatever. You don't wanna be going backwards and doing the same shit. You want to be focused on new programs, new behaviors, new ideas, a really good time for um, learning more about yourself and working with a therapist or a coach or something, um, someone to help you. Um, okay. Also, Sagittarius, sorry. There we go. Um, just fixing something here. Sagittarius energy is mutable fire. Mutable means flexible. Flexible means we can adapt. So now you need to adapt to everything that you have learned over the last little while. It's time for you to adapt yourself into a new um, you know, way of being. You want to figure out what works and what doesn't work. Scorpio season um, probably showed you a lot of what's not working for you anymore. So now get rid of it, okay? Um, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. That is our largest uh, planet in our uh, solar system. And that planet is connected to expansion, opportunity, good luck, um, higher knowings, new perspectives, et cetera. So this is a really big opportunity for you to slow down and listen to what messages are coming through. What do you need to adjust and um, adapt in your life, in your behavior, in your relationships? Who are you socializing with that maybe you should start avoiding because they are bringing toxic behaviors or toxic patterns back into your life? It's like, it's time for us to really be filtering out a lot of these people and eclipse season, not only the people, um, the jobs, the um, social groups, it's like, Everything that's not benefiting us moving forward, you need to drop, you need to allow this filtering process to 
um, remove everything that's not working. And if you don't, that's fine. That's your choice, but you will be dragged. The universe <laughs> eventually will say, bitch, you're not listening. So I'm going to force you and I'm going to drag you. It's like, so you don't want that. You just want to go with the flow, which is also connected to Sagittarius energy. Um, in tarot, uh, the card that represents Sagittarius is the temperance. So that means slow down, go with the flow. It's um, alchemy also. So everything that we've learned, everything that we've felt, everything we experienced through Scorpio season, well, now we can use our higher knowing, our higher trust, um, and our new programs to fix all of the issues that have been coming up from Scorpio season. We've seen the fear, we've seen the old programs, we've seen what's not benefiting us. Well, now we have more awareness. Now we have an opportunity to fix that. So use it, don't waste it. Um, okay. Expansion, what do I want to talk about here? Travel for some of you. I mean, travel right now is a little bit of a bitch, obviously, I get it. Um, but culture, exploration, curiosity, that is all Sagittarius themes. So if there are new things that are making you feel curious, investigate. If you want to travel and you can safely, then go for it. Like you're going to want to be expanding your perspective, expanding your knowledge, expanding your culture and um, communication and understanding of the world around you. Um, okay, I'm going to talk about some of the planets. Whew, I have so much energy right now. It's like I've been like ugh, in bed all day and like now I'm here and I can like feel the energy. Like, it's like, okay, let's just go with it. Um, some of the planets and what's happening now. Neptune is now direct. So the retrograde is over. It is now direct. Neptune, uh, when it was in retrograde, could be really confusing us and making us think that we want to be doing things that really don't benefit us now. Um, so a lot of the illusions are now cleared. Um, now we see more clearly about what we really want moving forward. We see what we really need for our highest good, for our actual benefit, for our healthy connections, relationships, romance, jobs, love. We see ourselves differently because the old illusion, it's like there was a trick and everything was like kind of blinded and we just continued to like behave certain type of way, or we believed an old program in our mind, or we believed other people and their perspective or whatever. And now um, things are really, and if it hasn't happened yet for you, it will start very soon like building. But like now that vision is becoming more clear. We're really understanding things in a different way now. So that's beautiful. Use that energy. Um, what else do we have? So we have the sun and the moon, both in Sagittarius. That's why there was an eclipse. The sun represents our ego, I, what I do, and the moon represents our emotions, how we feel. So now we are um, getting a better understanding of ourselves and what we really want for ourselves, what we really want and see for this next version of ourselves what would be healthier for us? Um, and how does that make us feel? We're also really aware of who we've been up till now. So maybe the things that we don't like about ourselves and how that makes us feel. Um, and you mix that with the Neptune going direct, that illusion is now gone. It's like, wow, I really thought I was, you know, this kind of person, but I'm not, or I really, always was kind of hard on myself about these things, but I don't need to be. So it's like, there's a lot of internal shift. There's also um, Mars in Scorpio still. So a lot of our old triggers and fears and impulses. So be careful because a lot of us are learning all of these new ways, but we could easily go back into the old ways. And then we're going to fuck up the opportunity to actually fix or clear this next chapter. So it's like, Really, the universe is asking us to just slow down, pause. Like, you don't need to be doing a lot right now. You don't need to be forcing anything. You don't need to be jumping, rushing, going. It's like, this is a really good time for rest, slow down, like, relax. You know, it's like, you don't need to be, um, like, especially if you're feeling 
triggered or lonely or fearful and you just want to go back to these like old it's like don't warning warning it's like just slow down wait be patient the energy will pass and if you pass the test you will level the fuck up okay i promise like i've seen it with so many clients i've experienced it myself like it's true and the all of the abundance and the rewards will come also but like if you continue to go back into the old cycles and the old bullshit then like if nothing changes bitch nothing changes you know what i mean so it's like wake up hello okay we've got oh oh we've got um oh mercury mercury is also conjunct with i don't know if it's like exactly conjunct but it's near so Mercury is near the sun and the moon in Sagittarius. So now we have an opportunity to really communicate and really understand our mental process and our thinking about what is really working for us and what is not working for us and how we want to get rid of the things that are not working. And we want to focus and integrate more of these things that are working. So like that is the new um, goal. Also, having another person, a coach, a therapist, somebody who can help you communicate that and mentally process that is going to be really, really, really helpful. Self-help books, really good right now. Um, podcasts for self-help, really good for you right now, okay? So use that energy, use that opportunity, use that mercury energy to, um, to connect with another person or connect with a resource that will help you reflect. Um, and write it down, get it out, get it out. Also, may, sorry, also maybe connecting with a Virgo or a um, Gemini could be helpful because they are, uh, cool. wow, la, 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 la. they are connected to um, Mercury energy. So if you could connect with one of them, maybe it's a helpful thing for you to um just get like assistance and support with like trying to figure out your mental process because they work with mercury energy their entire lives. So like they know how to process it. You know what I mean? Um, okay. Venus is also slowing down and will start retrograde on the 18th. I think around the 18th Venus is retrograding in Capricorn, which means we are uh, re-evaluating and reflecting on and um, reviewing our structures and foundations and um, rules connected to love, connected to, excuse me, relationships, connected to, whew, excuse me, whew, she's burping. <laughs> like we have a lot of energy that we need to drop. I think um, during that Venus retrograde, you're really going to be seeing what you don't want to be doing um, and how your old ways have been um, hindering your relationships with money, um, romance, people, uh, friends, etc. Venus will be retrograde for I think around a month and then there's like a post shadow period but like it's a huge opportunity from kind of like now maybe next week because the pre shadow period will also influence us so let's say maybe next week and some of you are probably already thinking about it but like next week until like february um we have a lot of time to figure out what relationships look like for us moving forward and they need to change things need to change in your relationships in your friendships romance your relationship with money your relationship with uh, what you value, et cetera. All of that has to change because you're being asked to level up so you can actually experience more expansion and abundance, but you can't um, maintain it if you don't fix the cracks in your foundation first. So that is going to give us an opportunity to fix all of the cracks in our foundation, but you need to be honest with yourself. You need to focus on and trust that new vision and you need to follow your intuition and follow these new behaviors and rewriting those old programs, get rid of them and establish the new programs, establish the new behaviors. Because if you can focus on that for the next like eight weeks, 10 weeks, bitch, springtime, whoo, child, springtime for you is going to be abundant as fuck. It's going to be expansive as fuck. You're going to have new opportunities for money, 
deeper connections with intimacy, better friends, like money, money, money. Did I say money? Like <laughs> it's coming. Okay. So focus, do not fall backwards. Okay. That's that. I'm going to pull some tarot. I'm going to pull a moon card and then we're going to do the uh, meditation and then we are done. I'm also going to do a little short um, energy clearing, obviously. Okay. Let's see here. What, what do they need to know about this eclipse? What do we need to know about this eclipse? Mm -hmm. Bitch. Oh my God. Okay. Five of cups. Five of cups. It's not easy to drop old habits. It's not easy to drop um, nine of cups reverse, nine of cups reverse. The things we once valued, the things that really we thought benefited us. And yes, before they did, they benefited you. They supported you. It was an easy way for you to um, escape or for you to feel better, or you valued um, certain kinds of people, or you valued certain kinds of relationships, or money, or um, different resources, or how you accumulate resources, and it worked for you at that time in the past. And you learned the lesson, and you gained the skills, and now you have that, but you can't continue to do that because you're being asked to go higher. So when we are asked to go higher, it means we have to clear out all of that old energy, all of that old bullshit that before was good and now is not good. So nine of cups can be a little bit scary because we're dropping so much. And five of cups is saying, oh my God, and you got the 10 of cups here too. <laughs> Woo child. And you got the uh, death card reverse. So like this, this death card represents Pluto, which is, um, I believe in Capricorn with Venus which is also helping you die and be born again with all of that relationship stuff, that Venus stuff, love, finances, beauty, luxury, self uh, value, et cetera. And like the 10 of cups reverse is saying like, it's just not working. These things are not working anymore. I don't know how else to say that. Like I can't, that's the clearest way. It's not fucking working. Okay, Janet, like clean it up. So like the justice card here reverse, justice. The karma has been paid off. It's done. You've learned. You now need to apply, okay? Two of coins, two of coins, a little bit every day. Commit to your vision. Commit to the small details and focus on building yourself up over time and be patient, okay? This takes time. It takes time. You can't force it. You can't rush it. Wow. Don't let your past hold you back. <laughs> Don't let your past hold you back. What's interesting also is that this eclipse very soon after the nodes, the north node and the south node, and that means that's, it's where the eclipses happen in the sky. It's the easiest way to say it. The nodes are moving into Taurus and Scorpio. The south node is going into Scorpio, I believe. That means that we are literally excavating and purging all of the bullshit from the past that's not benefiting us moving forward. And it's connected to our deep seated programs that we're also releasing. This is the card of the South Node. This card is connected to the South Node. We have a huge opportunity over the next few months and literally the next like year and a half, two years to actually radically change your life. So don't fuck it up. Okay. We're now going to start with the energy clearing. I feel like this workshop's a little bit longer than normally. They're usually under 30 minutes, but whatever. Um, okay. If you want to light a candle or something, you can pause now and go do that or incense. I don't have anything today because I was like really low energy before this, but now I'm like pumped. So we're just going to go with it. But um the first thing I want you to do is to just close your eyes. I'm going to start some meditation music and I want you to just visualize that there is a green fire burning in front of you and you have a golden comb and anywhere on your body, any place on your body that you feel intuitively um, attracted to and maybe you feel like that area needs some low vibrational energy cleared, I want you to just use that gold comb and just comb it out. 
from top to bottom, I want you to just comb out your aura. It's an egg shaped energetic field around you. Just comb it out and toss all of that bullshit, toss all of that negative energy into the green fire. Doesn't matter where it's from, what it looks like. Just grab it and toss it, okay? So visualize that now. I'm going to use some distance energy symbols to help clear it as well. Keep your eyes closed and just enjoy. Now I want you to visualize just white light pouring down from above you, just pouring down, covering your whole body, enhancing your aura, inviting in protective energy and filling you back up so that you feel ready moving forward, empowered and safe. So just visualize now with your eyes closed, white light pouring down. I'm going to use different symbols and then I'm going to start the guided meditation right after. start this meditation by taking three deep breaths so I want you to inhale two three four and hold and release two three four we're gonna do one more just really relaxing the jaw and filling the belly so inhale two three four and hold and release two three four and one last time the biggest breath you can take inhale two three four and hold and releasing it all release two three four As we move through this eclipse cycle, we have been shown how we hold ourselves back. We've been shown who we're meant to be with, who we're meant to be. We've been shown what we're meant to release and what needs to change. But now we have an opportunity to dream big and to get even more expansive to find more abundance, more love, 
deeper connections than we've ever known, than we've ever experienced before. So the first thing I want you to do is to just visualize a television screen in front of you. And I want you to pick up a remote and turn it on. And the first thing I want you to see is a healthy relationship. It could be romance. It could be family, friends. It could be all of the above. But what does it look like? Who are you with? What are you doing? How are you behaving? How can you strengthen these connections even more? How could you level these connections up to a higher degree so that you can invite in even more joy, even more love, even more satisfaction that will eventually spill over into all other areas of your life? I want you to see yourself living this, feeling it, knowing that it's real, that it's possible. And then with the nature of Jupiter being even bigger, I want you to go one step further. How could this get even better than what you're visualizing at the moment? Dream bigger. Reach higher. Because it's all possible. Now I want you to change the channel and I want you to see yourself at work or working on a project, working towards an opportunity, working towards expansion of your resources, your finances, your stability. I want you to see yourself reaping the rewards The universe will sort out the details, but I want you to see yourself already with the results. What are you doing? Are you traveling? Are you shopping? Are you eating well, taking more time for yourself? Who are you with? Where are you? How can you Go one step further. Dream even bigger. Now what are you doing? How does it feel? I want you to recognize the emotions that are coming up. The gratitude, the appreciation, knowing that your hard work paid off, that you deserve all of this abundance, all of these resources, that you deserve a life filled with Luxury, peace, tranquility. This is available to you. Yeah, every day you need to work on holding that vibration. You need to work on knowing and trusting and believing in yourself, believing that this is coming to you because it is coming to you but there's an element of patience. And oftentimes we're impatient and we begin to doubt. And then that turns to fear. And then we're triggered and we go backwards. So don't do that. I want you to come to this space of visualization and I want you to see right now, once again, what does your life look like on the other side? What does your life look like when these timelines finally merge, what are you doing? Who are you with? Where are you and how is it that you now find rest and joy and expansion? How are you accumulating your resources? How have you taken ownership over your own life 
And how are you driving the car? How are you moving forward in business, in finances? And then what do the rewards look like? And what do they feel like? Who are you sharing them with? And how good does it feel that you can do so? Now the last thing I want you to do is to pick up that remote. I want you to change the channel one last time and I want you to see yourself on this TV being the healthiest, most balanced version of yourself. I want you to go through a daily routine. I want you to view your future self and your habits. What are you doing to stay healthy? What are you doing to build your immune system and to remain strong and vital? What are you doing to ease your mind? Who is there to help? Is it a coach, a therapist, an energy worker, an astrologer? Maybe it's all of the above. I would recommend that. And I certainly think that you will be able to find someone that you connect with who can bring you this clarity to help ease your mind, help you rewrite these programs. So I want you to know that you've already gone through that and that you're actively working on that. And I want you to see yourself on the other side of that. How does that feel? to know that you've released these old programs, these old fears, these addictions, these mindsets that don't serve you, these outdated belief systems, these crutches that you've held on to for so long. They once served a purpose, but they no longer do, and they're holding you back. So how does it feel that you've broken those chains? I want you to see yourself in that healthy, mindset in that healthy body, allowing in healthy relationships, healthy friendships, healthy business deals that result in healthy abundance. And I want you to know that that is on its way. You just need to remain patient and focused. And when you're triggered or feeling sad or insecure or fearful, you need to know that there are people that will hold you. Now I want you to shut off that television and I want you to visualize that it lifts up into the air and it shrinks in size as it floats towards you and moves into your heart chakra. And I want you to put your hands on your chest. We're going to take a deep inhalation as we welcome and absorb all of these visualizations into our body, into our physical form, so that we can allow this to manifest before us. So let's inhale, two, three, and four, and hold. And release, two, three, and four. And when you're ready, I invite you to wiggle your fingers, and stretch out your body a little bit, open your eyes, and welcome back. Okay, so now uh, I want you to just pause and I want you to just write down whatever you were seeing yourself doing, whatever you want to invite in. Um, yeah, and just 
try to put down on paper what you saw because from thoughts and ideas and energies to a physical paper and writing it down is the first step to manifesting something. So I invite you now to do so. You can pause on my face. And if you missed it, you can't go back. Welcome back. Okay, and that's it. So enjoy your eclipse season. I'm sending you so much love. Um, please comment below what you're inviting in. Share this video with your friends, your family, whoever you think needs help. And of course, all of your donations are highly appreciated. This is my job and I love you. The pay what you can link is below. I will see you all very soon and the monthly horoscopes will be out soon. Um, but I'm a little bit thick at the moment. Although right this moment, it doesn't feel like that. So maybe I'll just like keep going with the reading. So anyways, love you. See you soon. Are we still, okay, what?